What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about Escape Room 2, the Tournament of Champions. Six people unwittingly find themselves locked in another series of escape rooms, slowly uncovering what they have in common to survive. Joining forces with two of the original survivors, they soon discover that they've all played this game before. Um, Robitel returns with Taylor Russell and Logan Miller returning as the two survivors from the past films, leading a whole new cast members in this new deadly sequel. So I enjoyed the first escape room a little bit too much more than a lot of people did but I thought it was fun it was suspenseful but there were some things to like and it was the first movie I reviewed on my channel here and this movie and I was really looking forward to this movie because there was a lot writing on the on this film there was a lot of new creativity creative ways that they could have taken the film and they do in one sense or another but I think the characters in this movie even though they're not fleshed out as much as they were in the first one these, were, these characters were a lot better than they were in the first one there are some creative escape rooms in this film but a lot of the things that happen in this film don't really work as much and this movie really falls apart towards the ending like like the ending fell apart for a lot of people in the first film in the first film the ending didn't fall apart part for me but i thought it was a good way of leading us into the sequel and giving us this new world that we could possibly get in this world and I personally had fun with the first one. I thought it was really fun. I have my the review for the first one on my uh, channel here. But I really enjoyed the first one. I was really looking forward to the film. The trailer was fun enough. And it gave, gave me a little bit of insight to what, what, what we might be expecting in this film. And I really enjoyed a lot of the film. Uh, however, this film... Like I said, it does fall apart towards the ending of the film when they have tried to have this really elaborate plot twist that they that they just shoehorned at the ending. But a lot of the things that leading up to the ending, if I had just taken away the what happens in the last 30 minutes of the film, I had a really good enough time in this film that would have made me want to buy it. However, the way that the film unravels, it, I don't think it's going to have that much of a replay factor with me because even though I do like the chemistry that Taylor Russell and Logan Miller have in this film and they, there's new characters in this film, characters that have pre previously played this game and basically what uh, Catching Fire was, this is what this is the Catching Fire of Escape Rooms. This is the film where Previous players come to one huge tournament to finally try to win it all, see who comes out at the top. And even though some characters do work more than others, the way that they're all shoved into this scenario really didn't make sense. And it really does stretch its believability factor a little bit too much than it did in the first one. Because in this one, everybody that has previously played... Uh, the escape rooms in the past they are all just on one train and it didn't work a lot it didn't work well how they're all just in just they're like the only people in this cart and every they get separated from the rest of the train but this film really makes you want to stretch your belief factor a little bit way too much than it, it did in the first one because the way that the film unravels, it really left a sour taste in my mouth. It's basically kind of the way that I felt about The Babysitter 2, Killer Queens. It had... I, I like The Babysitter 2... I like The Babysitter, Killer Queens for what it was and what it did. And tried to further the mythology of the film. But the way that the characters, in particular one, takes the turn in that movie they kind of do the same thing with this one and it really doesn't make sense towards the towards the end of the film but that was one of the huge glaring factors that I had with the film because it really didn't work that well for me because if I go into the film knowing what the ending is it really doesn't make sense to me anymore and it really does make you stretch the believability the Bolivity factor of the film a little bit too much and it kind of ends the same way the first one ended that being said there are if you just take out the ending 
it would have been a better time at the it would have been a better film overall and possibly a decent enough follow-up to the first one i really like the characters in the film more than i did in the first one because in the first one there were some really obnoxious characters that you couldn't get behind except for deborah ann wool's character i liked logan miller and uh, taylor russell in the first film but they don't carry that same wit that deborah ann wool had carried in the first film and that really I could get behind enough behind Taylor Russell's and Logan Miller's uh, characters this time around, but there are some great suspenseful moments. They don't call back to the last film a lot. They flashbacks to the first one, and the way the film starts off, you know exactly where the film is going and what happens towards the end of the film. But that is really a huge gripe that I have with this film is the ending because once you see the ending and you start to think about everything that happens in the first film and in what happens in the second in this film, it really leaves a sour taste in your mouth and it and you see the characters differently than you did before. Overall, if I had to remove the ending and just focus and the film ended right before it got to the twist it was a fun time at the movies i really had a great i had a fun time with what the characters were even though we didn't get to know them a lot but i really did enjoy with the film for what it was except for those last 30 minutes but i really enjoyed this news these new batch of characters i like the creative turns that they did with the uh, escape rooms even though it doesn't make sense towards the end of the film, but overall I had a fun time. This was a decent enough follow-up to the first film, but aside from that ending, it might have dropped down. <clears throat> it might have dropped down my thoughts on the film the more that I think about the film. So overall, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and give Escape Room Tournament of Champions a four out of ten. Have you guys seen Escape Room? What did you think of it? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Go ahead and let me know what you thought about the first one and look forward to more reviews. Hopefully I'm going to get my review for Nick Nicolas Cage's new movie Pig up this weekend. So hopefully we get that going. If you want to see my thoughts on the first film, go ahead and look down in the description. My thoughts for the first film have not changed since then. So that will be a bit of a refresher and kind of a new uh, look. So hopefully you guys check that out and until next time, this is Josie Reviews.